What's in the box? Give you three guesses. Oh, it's the wedding dress, isn't it? Yep, Pippa's old frock, totally customised. Can I see it? No, it's bad luck. Please? No way, not until I'm walking down the aisle in it. I promise I won't tell anybody what it looks like. No. And O? I bet you're going to show Carly. Yeah, well, she's my bridesmaid and my roommate. She sits there all the time. You mean she hasn't surfaced yet? I'm up. I'm up. Clear out, squirt. But I want to see the dress. This is between me and my bridesmaid. The rest of the world's on tea break and you haven't even got dressed yet. You noticed? I got the dress. You want a squeeze? I thought you weren't supposed to let anybody see it. Yeah, and I thought you weren't going to spend the rest of your life sitting around moping about Matt. I'm not. I know. You always put on bright red nail polish before breakfast. Well, what do you expect? Look, it wasn't easy going through all that detox stuff. And then finding out the person you thought cared about you didn't. You've got to stop leaning on him, Carly. All right, let's see it. I said no peeking. Oh, please. Oh, talk about pushy. Come on. You ready? Hey, you seen it, OK? I didn't see it properly. You've still seen it. Now scram. It's not fair. I never said it was. Bye, Sal. <laughs> so, what do you reckon? Not bad. Oh, not bad. It's ace. Pippa told the woman how he wanted it, and she's done it exactly right. I think I should pull out. But of oh, the wedding. But you're supposed to be my main bridesmaid. Yeah, but everybody knows the hassles I've been through. It'd just spoil it for you. Oh, come on, what's this? A sudden attack of the stage fright. Look, you know what they're like. They'll all be looking at me, wondering whether I've been drinking or not. Waiting for me to trip over. Probably will. I'll be so nervous. You'll be nervous. What about me? Yeah, but it won't be you they'll be looking at. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Well, look at me, the town duro. The kid with about as many prospects as the hunchback of Notre Dame. Marrying the best-looking guy in summer, bay. Who'd even give me a second glance when there's Carly Morris to look at? All right, I'll do it. Now, will you please get off my magazine? I want to read it. I'll make you a deal. I'll get off my butt if you get off yours. Go have a shower and rejoin the human race. Well... Man, it's all... What are you doing? Are you crazy? No, you got the wrong idea. Oh, sure, you always sit around staring at bottles of booze. Yeah, I was just trying to prove a point. That I could be in the same room as a bottle of alcohol and not drink it. Oh, and how long did it take you to think of that one? But that is not an excuse. Look, I haven't even got a glass out. Oh, well, who needs one when you've got a bottle? Oh, thank you for the vote of confidence. Look, I'm just being realistic. Yeah, and I'm telling you the truth. All right. You looked at it. I'll put it away. No. I haven't finished timing it yet. Timing it? Yeah, I gave myself ten minutes. There's still seven to go. Fine. Well, don't mind me. Alone. Look, what if you don't make it? I will. Seven minutes. much for willpower. Oh, that. Yeah, that. Well, I guess some of us can hold it better than others. Pretty strong stuff, orange juice. <laughs> oh, look, don't look so disgusted. I didn't drink it. I tipped it all down the sink. Oh, terrific. To prove what a hero you are, you tip out half a bottle of Pip's best cool brandy. It's just brandy. Oh, only brandy. Someone else's brandy? Okay, so I'll leave five dollars on the table. Yeah, you do that. I will. Then you can rack off so I can get some organising done. Oh, I was here first. You rack off. No, you rack off. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Any, many, money, mo. <laughs> Look, sorry to hassle you before the wedding. Hey, how about you burn off the aggro and hit the town? 
We know our hen's night. We'll pick up Narelle, go raging. Celebrate my last night of freedom. What do you reckon? Great. <sighs> Except for one thing. We don't have to drink to enjoy ourselves. Yeah, but raging in the city. You kill it, aren't you? I don't trust myself. Not oh, yet. So Narelle and me will slap your wrist every time you start getting thanks. You in or not? Why not? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Two, three. Uh, scissors, cut the paper. I won. Your turn to count now. No, I think we'll give it a miss, Sal. Are you sure Tom won't mind us taking the car? No sweat. As long as we stay at Norell's and get back early tomorrow morning. Where are you going? To the city for a bit of heavy raging, hey? <laughs> what do you do when you rage? I see a band, have a few drinks, huh? cappuccinos. Are they those um, frothy things? Yeah, that's right, Sal. So, what is this about raging? Sorry, Lance. Girls only. Bobby's hen's night. Who else is going? Us and Narelle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been meaning to get up and see her for ages, eh? Well, she is me cousin, me family, eh? We well, could give me a lift. Take a hint, Lance. No guys allowed. Oh, yeah, great. You just go and have fun without me. I don't care. I'll do my own raging here. Yeah, you do that. Let's split. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Play scissors again? It's not known yet whether charges will be laid against Mrs. Bellingham for concealing the birth of her illegitimate child. Well, that's pretty amazing. Shut up, Stephen. Hey, remember, you're not the first person in the world to read her HSC. Yeah, but I'm going to be in with all those year 11 days from last year. Ah, you're going to be a year better than they are. You'll be fine. You show them, kiddo. Yeah. That's better. Don't worry about a dinner for me tonight. I'll probably be late. Something come up? No, not really, but uh, Frank's away. My workload's going to virtually double. You give it as a wedding present. Yes, I will. I will. See you, Steve. Yeah, OK. This is pretty gripping stuff. Reckon I'd shoot myself if I found out my mum was old bag bellium. Why don't you do it anyway? Well, this is it. Good luck. Isn't anyone interested in Bobby? No. You coming? Well, I am. Mine. Hi. First day jitters, eh? Yeah, I think I need a bit of moral support. No sooner said than done. Do you want a lift? Oh, you don't have to do that. That's OK. I'm going to drop in anyway. Hand in these forms for night classes. We can compare notes about how rat we are about starting school. <laughs> OK, thanks. You coming, Kelly? I'm giving her a lift, mate. <coughs> right? Do you want one to? Uh, no, I think I'll ride in. Hey, Charles. You heard all this stuff about Bobby. It's mind-blowing, eh? Oh, that'll happen years ago, mate. Come on, Carl. We don't want to get you there late on your first day back. This is ridiculous. I've got butterflies already. Try deep breathing. Oh, what does that do? Hey, Carly, we're going to be in the same class this year. You'll be able to clue us up, seeing as you've done it all before. Uh, rack off, fish face. Oh, maybe you can get your bodyguard to coach you. Talk about the blind leading the blind. Well, look, if you don't make yourself scarce right now, I'm going to forget you a chicken punch you in the mouth. Ooh, tough guy. Don't listen to her. She's a moron, you know? Yeah, I know. And well, I'm going to be in the same class as well. Yo, if she gives you any hassles, just tell me. I'll fix it. Thanks. You're all right, you know that. But believe it or not, I'll be OK. Flathead's been really supportive about me coming back. Carly, you should be in class. Uh, yeah, Mr Fisher, I was just going. And what do you think you're doing loitering around here? Oh, I'm signing up for night class. <laughs> well, then stop talking and go and do it. That's supportive. I don't want to know, all right? You aren't still mad at me for what I said before, are you? It was a joke. Suit yourself. Hey, come on, I'm sorry. Really, I am. But I promise I won't do it again. All right. Friends? Maybe. Excellent. Um, Carly, I heard something about you. Well, I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah? I heard you did fabulous stuff. You know, dope, oh, whatever. What? That's what all the kids are saying. Oh, get real. Look, it's OK. You can tell me. Because I was wondering if you could, well, you know, get me some. You know what is real, Airhead? I'm an undercover cop. Go on, Carl's and she fell for it. She must be a bigger dag than I thought. <laughs> it was the only laugh I'd had all day, and boy, did I need it. It was a real downer, eh? Oh, no worse than I thought it would be, I suppose. I'll get used to it. It's just really weird being back there again, you know? Like, last year didn't even happen. Like, it was some big mistake somebody made. And I wish it was. Mm, I feel like that about most of my life. Well, you don't need to. No, I do, but the way I got it figured is I've got to keep reminding myself of what a jerk I've been, or I'll keep forgetting I'm supposed to be trying to change. Maybe I'm kidding myself, but it's like you with your drinking. 
If you can change the way you feel about the booze, I should be able to change a few things about me, you know what I mean? Well, I haven't changed the way I feel about it. I mean, right now there's nothing more I'd like than a drink. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah, well, don't worry, I'm not going to have one. See, if you have one, then you want more. And on days like today, it is not easy. Good day. Oh, Lance, put them away, will you? Uh, not yet, mate. Yeah, but that's what we'll be doing tonight. A couple of Sheilas lined up, too. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, it's not you, it's Martin. <laughs> well, what do you think I was going to do, bite through the cardboard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it'd be easier the second time around. Can't remember any of this stuff. You one up on me. I don't think I ever knew it in the first place. Hey, you can't get out of helping me that easily. Oh, yes, I can. Look after the dinner for me. Sure. See the girls Lance and Martin invited over? <laughs> Recognise one of them. She was the one that did the strip at Frank's Bucks party that night. Martin didn't ask them over. Lance did. Same difference. Then all those guys keep trying. They're hopeless. They wouldn't have a clue how to get a girl. <laughs> well, you're not exactly the answer to every girl's prayer either. Oh, look who's in a bad mood tonight. Yeah, well, I just don't like the way you're always putting Martin down. Since when did you become a fan of Martin's? I'm not a fan of anyone's. Look, Martin's really trying to better himself. I don't think it's fair that everyone always keeps putting him down. Well, you keep this up and people will start thinking you're fancy. <sighs> Haven't you got something else you could be doing? You do, don't you? You've got the hotter in a big way. That's how come you're so upset about him having girls over tonight. Grow up. Worry about you, Kai. You used to have better taste. <sighs> Look, get lost, OK? I don't fancy Martin and I never have. Anyway, you've got no right to act so superior about him anyway. Because one thing's for certain, he's more of a gentleman than you'll ever be. That Frank and Bobby don't have to wash up with this, do I wouldn't mind a holiday myself at the moment. Oh, well, anyone likely to ask you? The day pigs fly. <laughs> well, you did have to work late, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. A lot to get through. Some pretty unexpected stuff, too, as it happened. Mm. Anything interesting? Could be. Um, what? I've got a proposition for you. I still? Yeah. How would you all like to go and live in London? <laughs> <laughs>